So, while you were all away, you missed the fact that Eve went clubbing, fell asleep, tried on many outfits, came home and had a fight with her neighbor, went to the karaoke, and has now come home. And uh, you missed it because somebody is a little bit of an idiot and didn't record it. But what I do know is that Eve has work in the morning and she has to get up in just a couple of hours. So she's gonna take a very quick sleep over here and um, get ready to head into work. So she had a fun weekend. She actually went out and she met a lot of people um, on her trip to the nightclub and her trip to the karaoke bar. She did not achieve a goal of singing. Oh, wow. What is he doing? So this is the guy that we, we actually introduced ourselves to him. Is he coming into our house? <gasps> he is! Oh my gosh! No! He's in our bedroom. What the? He mesmerized her. <gasps> what is going on? <gasps> no way! No wonder she's been tired. She's not going to be able to go to work now. <gasps> Snow, why aren't you protecting her? Oh dear. So she's exhausted. She's recently been bitten. And uh, she needs to recover from plasma drain. So, <laughs> okay. That's... I guess Eve is missing work. And our cat, meanwhile... It's playing with its ball. While Eve is passed out in the hall of her home. Do you care yet, Snow? Are you gonna wake her up? No. <laughs> You're just gonna go stare at that. Okay. So I wonder if we can get Eve into the bed. She's obviously gonna miss work. So that it's not good. Or or we don't need to get her into bed. She's just going to spend her whole day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pick it up. Answer the phone. Um, do we get a Eve is missing work. If she misses too many days, her job will suffer. Well, she's missing today. So, she's gonna get some food. So, I think that we need to find out more about vampires because that guy, I mean, I'm pretty sure he came over the other night and I just saw him like out of the corner of my eye as I was speeding through. But he definitely was here and, you know, he made her miss work. That's not okay. So we're going to have to do some research. I know that that is one thing we can actually do. I don't think this food is very good. Oh my gosh, the flea market's in town. Well, you know what? We just had way too much social activity lately. Oh, and that's the other thing I'm, you missed. You missed that Aaron came into our house and dumped garbage on the floor. So, you know, this really is war. They hate each other now. And um, she's going to tell him. She's going to tell him that he's her enemy. 
because him coming to her house, dumping trash on the kitchen floor, not okay. She ended up going over, knocking on the door and asking him about it. And he was just all embarrassed, but yeah, you know what? You probably invited that vampire to my house. You see, they're enemies. Yeah. You're my enemy, Aaron. I'm gonna mock your outfit. Can't be as cool as my PJs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're picking on my food? Whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we're still a bit tired. I think we're going to take a nap. Perfect. Cat can nap with us if she wants. So it's 11.23. Um, we do have work tomorrow. We work every day except for Saturday. So we've got work in 19 hours. So we don't want to sleep all day because... I'm actually going to get some proper sleep because the naps don't quite do it. So let's get some real sleep here. Just get her up enough so that we can function for the rest of the day. And uh, then we'll head out and do some other stuff. Okay, so let's get her up a bit further. So what we might do is... um interact with our pet a little let's uh change our cat outfit well we don't have any outfits gonna have to do some shopping let's see under pets bunch of toys and some furniture let's get snow some new furniture I know. She's such a terrible owner. All she does is sleep. Go out and party. She's still recently been bitten by that vampire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can fit in there. Perfect. Okay. Can we do anything there? Not really. Our neighbors are having a trash issue. Eh, you can complain to the landlord, not me. Okay, so let's uh, find out something about vampires because that guy coming into our house all the time draining us like that not okay so we're gonna find out see if Eve can learn anything about vampires so she's reached level one of the vampire law skill and um, she's got to continue to do her research because there's apparently there's a lot of knowledge she can find out um, so you know maybe she can find out how to stop them coming into her house wouldn't that be great Looks like she's going to go eat some chips. And, um, what's our time? 2.36. So now she can uh, purchase the Encyclopedia of Vampires. So I think we're going to do that as well. I'm going to, let's see, we're going to order. A book. We're gonna order 
Mmm, baking. Definitely come back for that. So, I don't actually see the Encyclopedia of Vampires. I wonder if it's under a special category here. Uh, unicorns, ladder game. Is, is that going to help her? Giant mansion with no toilets. Hmm. Interesting. That might be a uh, great idea for my next scenario. Who can survive the longest before they end up embarrassing themselves in front of everybody. So definitely not finding this vampire book, guitar books, cooking books, all things we're going to need, but right now I really want to know how to stop this vampire coming in and eating Eve. So, um, Vampire Secrets, there it is. Okay. Well, while we were shopping, Eve has, uh, put herself to bed it's a bit early so we're getting up we're gonna buy this vampire book and um oh good we're eating but we're only eating chips okay so we're gonna look at our inventory And now we have two vampire books, but we're going to start reading it. Well, our cat does appear to like its squeaky little toy, so that's something good. And Eve is continuing to learn more about vampires. She's feeling very uncomfortable. She's, uh, cast down her experiences to Sims they turn. Well, Eve doesn't want to be turned. She wants a perfect wedding, and that involves, you know, a garden and the sun. She can't be a vampire here. Yeah. So she's going to turn that off. And it's about time to go to bed. She's still feeling pretty awful after being bitten. So she's now off to sleep. Ha ha! Hakeem is on our side in our, in our little uh, battle with Arun. So Hakeem agrees with us. That a run is a jerk. Yes, he is, Hakeem. He is. He is a real jerk. And our poor little cat. Um, I wonder what we can do to get her some more company. I wonder if you can hire like a pet sitter. Because she's always so very lonely. Someone left a note for us. Bet it was a run. What does it say? Don't be glum. Ah, oh. that was actually a nice note. We'll leave one too.
Okay. Uh, it's 8.54. We're going to actually clean up the house and um, make some food. And then we're going to go back to bed because we have work in the morning and Eve is serious about actually making some money because her funds are going down rapidly. So she's trying one of the new recipes she learned, chicken burrito. It's got all these spices there, some oil, onions, and um, just like that. Okay, I don't know that she intended to throw it onto there. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is why Arun is her enemy. Like, for real, her enemy. Becoming companions. I'm actually not sure what that is, but we'll do it. Okay, it's time to go to bed. Work in the morning, girl. And, you know, I will tell you that I did have the cat sleep on here once. But I guess she prefers sleeping. And time to get up. Okay, she's inspired. I don't know why, but she is. Oh, from having a new best friend. That's you, Snow. Okay, so Eve is running out of newspapers to deliver when she turns a corner and collides with another paper deliverer, going the opposite direction. The collision causes papers to fly everywhere. So she has the choice of not finishing her deliveries or stealing more papers. I mean, is it really stealing if she's just helping that other person and uh, picking things up? Hmm. I don't think Eve can do that. So, yeah. So, the... The boss gets mad at her and sends Eve back out to deliver the papers late. Well, that's okay. She went back. She did what she had to. And the bills have been delivered. And we have 48 hours before they shut off your uh, our utilities. Oh, hi. Um, invite in. I don't even know who that is. Did you come to repair things around here? Okay, we're going to pay the rent. Um, we're going to clean up a little. And uh, we're going to talk about our fear. Since you're reading our vampire book, we're going to tell you that we're afraid of them. So how do we know they aren't a vampire? We we haven't actually figured that out. Why is she so tense? And now embarrassed. What's up, Sarah Chandran? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, she wore her pants. I don't even know what that was. 
Well, I guess she's just going to go through my whole book collection there. And Eve's going to eat another breadstick. Well, Sarah takes all our books off the shelf. And here's our cat. Thought that we'd taught you about jumping on counters, my dear. Mm-hmm. No more counter jumping. Yes, I know we are tired. It's only one forty three. Mm-hmm. No, I already taught Snow not to jump on the counter. Now, our cat is actually very smart, and we can have intellectual discussions. What I'd like to do is teach my cat to talk. Okay, let's uh, fix up some of food. There you go. So did our visitor leave? No, they just went and played on our computer. So you know what? Thanks for coming. That was great. It's time for you to get out of here. Oh, Aaron, our enemy. If we can send an angry text to Aaron. Nope. Yeah, you should get going. Um, let's see if we can find out anything more about vampires real quick before we head to bed. Okay, so she can't find anything out online anymore. So that means it's just this one book. I don't know, your uh, husband's a jerk. I actually don't know, oh, an alternative. So I wonder if she ordered plasma packs if the vampire would eat those instead of eating Eve. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I think that's 6 p.m. Good enough time to go to bed because she might wake up in time to actually, you know, shower and stuff before work, maybe have breakfast, play with a cat. That would actually be a great way to start the day. So let's get through tonight. Hopefully, no vampire will come visit. I'm going to keep an eye on this door here just to make sure that my kitty cat is fast asleep. Right there. I guess she woke up. Okay, so it seems like we're going to have a vampire free night, which is great. Eve hasn't actually learned any techniques for keeping vampires away. So that is something that we're going to have to figure out. But right now she's uh, really hungry and um, she's going to make herself some breakfast. She's going to have a fruit salad. And um, I guess she just cut herself with a knife. And she did it again, even though she's supposed to be getting better at this. She's actually not. Alright, so eat up, because it's nearly time to head off to work.
Okay. And she's off to work. So hopefully she'll actually have a better day at work than she did yesterday, where if you'll recall, she... Um, okay, the Geek Con is on in town. So there's a hackathon, an ultimate gaming test, um, a space exploration, and you can get um, your skills going faster. Well, we can't actually travel there because we're working, so let's figure that out. Okay, so Eve actually got a promotion, so much better day at work. She has been promoted to a story researcher, and she's going to make an additional $8 an hour for a grand total of $29 an hour. So she also got a $241 bonus, and her next shift is tomorrow at 10. So a much better hour. She's now working from 10 to 5, and she's only working four days a week. So she actually has three days off a week. So that's awesome. Um, hi, male guy. We've been... Ooh, why are you so angry, dude? Are you friends with Aaron? Sonara. <gasps> Um, what did we do to you? Sonoba! Doror! Lasara! Kasi! Just calm down, guy! It's not our bills! Rimple Green Bow! Creambo Nooch! Bounda! Tafuni Do! Well, I don't know what's up with him, but I do know that we need a wash, and I also know I'm a little tired of this bath because it takes too long, so I'm getting rid of it. She got a promotion, so she sold that bath for 200 Um, now she gets to... Upgrade to a shower. So this is the waterfall shower, yeah, the shower trap, the pink plink shower, which is a uh, hygiene stress release. Oh, plus singing skill. Might need that one. Um, this is the top of the line shower, which is like a decontamination pod. Double delight. Well, you know she'd like that, but right now she's gonna get a plink um, in pink, of course, and it's gonna go right about here. And um, we're gonna get Eve to come and take a shower. Because she's had a long day at work, she just got promoted, and now the mailman's yelling at her, and I have no idea why. I also don't know why he's coming into her house. Um, Eve's taking a shower, dude, not you. We didn't buy the double shower. Okay, so hopefully this is gonna make her feel better, because she's been feeling pretty grungy. Um... And if she starts to feel better, then maybe she'll actually feel like being nicer to this guy that's decided to come visit her in the middle of the afternoon instead of delivering the mail. So, yes. Excellent. So now she wants to make a friend. I don't know that that's going to happen, but we'll uh, give this a go. And I don't even know what she's apologizing for. I mean, what she did was go out there and... Uh, Say hi. She just came home from work. It's not her fault. She's smelly. She works hard all day, guy. Come on. Okay. So now she's had a nice long shower. Oh. Yes. Yes, Eve is in the shower, and you knew that. So don't even pretend like you didn't. I mean, oh, now you've embarrassed her. Privacy evaded. Invaded, guy. Okay. And you're angry. He's angry. And he's the one that walked in on her. Oh, hi. Did you get a good uh, 
Look at what you were hoping for when you came in and invaded my privacy there. Oh, she wants to hide. Hmm, avant guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. You know what? She is gonna make it. So we just ditched the mailman because he was being a bit of a jerk anyway. Um, she's she's been to work, got the promotion. She's come home. She's all, you know, freshly showered, and uh, she just decided that she was going to join a club, and um. So now she's in the avant guards and she's gonna go along to the first gathering and introduce herself. So it looks like it's a pretty small club. There's uh, Yuki, Maki, Hugo, Gunther and Eve. So she's going to uh, talk about the club. Thank you well. <laughs> and uh, she can have more than one club, so that's awesome. So she's the leader of our club. We need to actually find out more. They drink coffee, they do homework, they read, play video games, and they write. So, that, I mean, that's great. They write, and we definitely like writing. And um, so basically... It seems like this might be a bunch of nerds. So their club gathering involves coming here and uh, writing. That's okay. She needs to make some uh... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. She, she does actually need to make her way in the writing circles so this could be a great way to do it okay Gunther what do you think so this is the event guards the other ones is the Garden Gnomes, the Knights of the Hedge, the League of Adventurers, the Paragons, the Party House, the Power House, the Renegades, Spin Masters, the Good Timers, could be uh, fun, the Upper Crusts, so, you know, and she could also create her own, and <laughs> she might do that at some point, for now. She's just gonna get to know um, everybody here. Amika Sor? Gra Dubble. Dumbledore? Vena! Lars! So she's getting to know Gunther here. Um, so he hasn't actually spent any time with Maiki Huss. So. Alright. maybe. Shui Bao. Looks like she's talking about herself. Alright, so we're going to order a drink from our uh, friendly little cat girl here who's just wandered off. Guess we're not. We're going to... Ah, we've got a new server. So... Hi there, Zoe. My name's Eve, and uh, you know, there's these vampires that keep like doing bad stuff. I would like to have a drink, and uh, we'll drink here, and we're gonna get a cafe latte. And uh, 
we'll get to know you while we're standing here waiting. <laughs> oh, he's hot headed. Okay. No, did we actually order that drink? He's getting a muffin. Oh, quapo. Turn away. New beam. If flies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to order this drink and then we'll come back and probably should talk to the people in our club though, although it looks like they're all kind of wandering off, but maybe the club gathering's in here. Fine, I guess she's more interested in talking to this guy than in getting herself a drink. Okay, hothead, what do you do for a living? Stay at home dad, huh? Okay, so we're going to go have a little chat to Yuki, and uh, then we might head home, because it's getting late. We need to go visit our cat. Looks like we're all gathering here in this room. We're dumping our books on the floor, as you do. Hi, Yuki. I, I hear you're part of this club here. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're also in Knights of the Hedge. And she does like our leader. Okay. Clever tables. And she just keeps making this club better and better, apparently. Great, Mikey. And, uh, let's share some ideas. Let's, uh, talk about the avant garde's. And uh, she thinks it's great because she's the leader, obviously. And Hmm, she's not really sure how she feels about it. And, uh, okay, so I think that was pretty good for a first day. We're ending the avant garde gathering and um, we're heading home. And we are going home alone. Because, wow, this place needs cleaning. You see that? That's some nasty looking coffee there. So we need to go back to the city. Looks like we joined another club that's out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, let's go home. And uh, see what Snow's been up to today. And... Then uh, it's probably time to get to bed because we're starting our new job in the morning with our promotion. Alright, there's our neighbor. Nice to see you, neighbor. And here's our kitty cat. We're going to... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Cat's upset. I just, you know, it doesn't like it. 
Uh, hey, buddy, what's <laughs> up? What's wrong? Hmm. I don't know. He's afraid of something. I think it's this. <sighs> you know, we're going to have to get rid of it. We can't be irresponsible like that. Okay, does that make you better, Snow? Alright, so I think it's time for some dinner. And uh, a little bit of clean up. And then we'll go to bed okay so now she's feeling a bit better because she has eaten um, let's take care of that and uh, once again, we will hope that the vampires oops, do not visit in the night. We are not napping, we are sleeping. It's bedtime for Eve. And uh, that will get our energy up. And uh, in the morning, Eve's going to go start. Aliens might be in the bar tonight. Um, we're going to decline because... You're kidding me, Aaron. You're kidding me, Aaron. Eve has to start her new job tomorrow. For real. Yeah. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it. Alright, that's it. Get over there, girl. Hmm. Oh. It's you, my enemy. You know what I have to say? I say you're a dick. Mm hmm. You're sick of hearing my complaints, huh? Wow. You know what? You know what? You can turn it off. It's eleven o'clock at night, and I'm tired. Come on, scare him. All right. Off to bed. I guess we can't sleep with all that noise going on. Um, no, no. Okay. 
We're so tired, but we're not going to get any sleep because our neighbors are jerks. One AM. Okay, that's enough. Oh, finally, sleep. All right, everyone, that's Eve. She's off to bed. She's had quite a long day. Um, we had quite a few mishaps with our recording schedule, but um, hopefully I have fixed the issues of my sound and uh, my own self. We'll uh, find out more next time. Thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you when Eve heads off on her next day. Let's see how things go with her in a run, and uh, whether she finds out enough to keep that vampire away. And uh, I'll catch you all later.